Number 9. Cows Cows are found in farms all across America, but they usually aren't the first animal people think of when picturing threatening predators. However, this domesticated animal is deceptively deadly. It's reported that around 22 human beings are killed every year by cattle in the US alone, and 75% of these fatalities are considered deliberate attacks. Group strikes are not only possible but also well-coordinated and aggressive. Most lethal encounters with cows are the result of blunt force trauma to the head or the chest, usually after something startles the animal. In 2005, a Missouri farmer discovered a recently deceased newborn calf and was about to remove it from a pasture when one of her cows knocked her down. The woman was stomped and butted while on the ground. She was declared dead on scene before first responders could transport her to the ER. That same year, another farmer was guiding his cattle onto a truck when a stubborn cow began to struggle and rammed him against the barn's door. The man collapsed and witnesses told the authorities he'd stopped breathing immediately after the blow. Number 8. Deer Deer might seem harmless and timid, but the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, has concluded they're the deadliest animal in America. They account for 150 fatalities every single year. Though most incidents are related to the wild animals wandering into traffic, people are still statistically more likely to be gored by a deer than attacked by a shark. Other deaths linked to these innocent-looking creatures involve hunters, experienced and amateur alike. A 66-year-old Arkansas man shot a deer while hunting alone in the woods. It's unclear if he approached his prey after shooting, believing it to be dead, or if the deer took him by surprise. What's certain is that the man's nephew found him later that same day lethally injured. He'd endured several deep antler punctures. Though the elderly man was rushed to the hospital, he was declared dead before reaching the ER. The buck's body wasn't found in the vicinity, so it's unclear if it perished after wandering away or not. Number 7. Alligators Alligators are one of US residents' most lethal neighbors. Its name might be an anglicized form of the Spanish term El Legato. This was the way Spanish explorers referred to this dangerous reptile in the region that's now known as Florida. On average, an adult alligator can weigh up to 790 pounds and measure more than 13 feet, making it a deadly predator. It's not unusual to hear accounts about Florida homeowners finding alligators lurking in their backyards and swimming pools. During the 2020 COVID pandemic, Cynthia Covert, a 58-year-old manicurist, was pulled into a pond and drowned near a client's home. Neighbors called 911, but by the time first responders arrived, it was too late. Covert had died underwater. The alligator was subsequently shot by a deputy. These reptiles have unleashed their predatory powers in what's often described as the happiest place on earth. A two-year-old was staying at a Disney resort with his family when his parents reported him missing. 60 deputies and wildlife officials joined the search. Tragically, the child's body was later recovered in the lagoon he'd been playing in. He was dragged into the water by an alligator and had already drowned by the time he was found by first responders. Number 6. Rattlesnakes Rattlesnakes belong to the subfamily Crotalinae or Pit Viper and are classified as highly venomous. These serpents are native to the Americas and can be found in areas ranging from Alberta, Canada to central Argentina. They lurk in backyards all across the continent and can survive in different types of habitats from temperatures as low as 4 degrees Fahrenheit to those as high as 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The rattlesnake is the most common cause of snake bite incidents in North America. On average, 8,000 people are attacked in the US each year, with around five of those victims perishing from complications associated with severe envenomation. When antivenom is applied within two hours after the bite, probability of survival is 99%, but this number drops dramatically when the wound is left untreated. Back in 2019, Priscilla Meredith, a Georgia resident, was attacked by a rattlesnake in her friend's garden and immediately rushed to the ER. Unfortunately, her allergies prevented doctors from giving her the antivenom and she died after spending several weeks in a medically induced coma. Number 5. Mountain Lion The mountain lion, also known as the cougar or puma, is a large feline native to North, Central and South America. 
is the second heaviest cat on the continent, surpassed only by the jaguar. It's a solitary predator, and though it doesn't usually attack humans, dire circumstances can yield deadly results. Starvation, perceived threats, and getting used to the presence of people in their territory are factors that make an attack more likely. Cougars are particularly deadly due to their preferred killing strike, which is a swift and powerful bite to the throat. The highest number of fatal encounters has occurred in British Columbia, at least up until the making of this video. Usually, cougars will behave erratically before killing a human being. Some of the signs may be that they're being especially active during the daytime and not avoiding the presence of people, even going as far as stalking both children and adults. In 2018, Oregon reported its first deadly cougar attack. Diana Boba, a 55-year-old woman, was killed while hiking in a national forest. Her corpse was discovered with over 12 puncture wounds and a broken neck. Number 4. Coyote The Canis latrans, commonly known as the coyote, is an incredibly versatile predator capable of adapting to different environments and living near urban areas. There are 19 different subspecies, weighing between 18 and 44 pounds, and they're smaller than the gray wolf, its closest relative. It's widely found all across North America, especially, but not exclusively, in forests and grasslands. The chances of attacks on humans increase when people feed them in the wild, habituating this predator to their presence. Another common situation that leads to confrontation is when a pet is attacked by a coyote, which happens far more frequently and the owner attempts to save their dog. From 1986 to 2006, 160 attacks and two deaths have been reported in the US and linked to this wild animal. In 1981, three-year-old Kelly Keene was playing outside her parents' Los Angeles home when she was dragged away by a coyote. Her father managed to rescue her, but it was already too late. She had endured deadly bites and perished soon after. Number 3. Wolves Wolves are large canines native to both North America and Eurasia, comprising over 30 feral subspecies. These predators usually weigh around 88 pounds and hunt in groups, being highly social animals. Wolves aren't known to frequently approach human beings, yet if provoked or intimidated, they won't hesitate to attack. Predatory behavior toward people does occur after being habituated to their presence. Wolves attack the head and face of their prey after tackling them to the ground. The victim is then dragged away and consumed. Most of these attacks involve children under the age of 18, and adults really get killed. Even when the wolf is reacting simply to defend itself instead of hunting for food, its attack can be lethal. Its bite is 15 times more dangerous than a rabid dog's. These feral animals can be found in wooded areas all across America, making any resident living near forests and grasslands their implicit neighbors. Candice Burner was an avid jogger living in Alaska back in 2010. A corpse was discovered on a local road by snowmobilers, and investigators found wolf tracks on the snow surrounding Berner's lifeless body. It ended up being the first instance in Alaska's history of using DNA evidence to confirm a deadly wolf attack. Today's topic was requested by Gokan Tekin. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Arizona Bark Scorpion Considered to be the US most venomous scorpion, the Arizona bark scorpion's sting causes intense pain, vomiting, numbness, and even convulsions. Most attacks occur in Arizona, Texas, and Nevada, usually during the summer. Though some of them happen in the wilderness, most attack victims tend to be stung at their own homes. Most fatal victims are children, elderly people, or adults with immunosuppressive illnesses. In the 1980s, about 800 people lost their lives in Mexico due to extreme reactions to the scorpion sting. Up to 2018, only four fatal attacks have been reported in the US in 11 years. Worldwide, this number spikes to 3,250 annually. Heart failure due to untreated attacks is usually the main cause of death and it can happen only a few hours after the sting. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com some of it is to die for. Number 1. Bears Bears are found in North and South America, as well as in Europe and Asia. Six species are omnivorous, with the other two types consisting of polar and panda bears. 
the polar is hypercarnivorous, while the panda is nearly entirely vegetarian. Bears are mostly solitary, except when raising a cub, have a heightened sense of smell and many of them are adept climbers, swimmers and runners. Grizzly bear attacks are 21 times more lethal and risky than black bear encounters. Daniel Schilling was reported missing by his wife and Alaskan state troopers launched an immediate search and rescue. Unfortunately, by the time they discovered his body, the deadly damage had already been done. Schilling had been hiking up a mountain behind his property when he was mauled to death by a black bear. Stephanie Blaze, a mother of two, was camping with her children on McKee Lake, Canada, when she was attacked by a territorial bear. Her husband tried to scare it away with pepper spray. When this didn't work, he shot it twice with his gun. Unfortunately, by the time the predator hit the ground, Blaze was already dead. Thanks for watching. Have you or anyone you know ever encountered a wild animal in your backyard? Let us know in the comments section below.